Good morning guys and welcome to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you guys um, a chicken pot pie and it's just a great recipe for this cold weather, hot comfort food and it's just great for the holidays also. First is one cup carrots. Slice half a cup of celery. One third cup chopped onions. One pound of either chicken breast or chicken tenders cubed. All right, so start the oven on 425. So in here I have the carrots and the celery and the chicken that I diced and one cup of frozen peas. Now I'm gonna add some water. So add water to cover, so about two, uh, maybe two and a half cups. Probably need a little bit more water and bring it to a boil and boil it for about 15 minutes. All right, so this is done, and now I need to drain this. And put it in a se separate bowl so I can use this pan. Now over medium heat is one third cup butter and one third cup onions that we diced earlier. And let that just get all melted and the onions to be about translucent color. So just a few minutes, not too long. And I'm using the same pan as we boiled the ingredients earlier. Now I'm gonna add some pepper. Uh, you can add one fourth teaspoon of pepper. I'm just gonna do eyeball it. And then a fourth of teaspoon of garlic salt. And then one third cup of flour. Lower this. So now I'm gonna put two thirds cup, two third cup of milk. And one cup and three fourths of chicken broth. And that just on about medium low until it gets thick. 
So put out the pie crust and now I'm putting the filling in here. And now I'm gonna pour the the liquid part. See, it got pretty thick, so just give it a couple minutes after you cook it and it gets thick. I'm just just a little bit on the top but like that um, don't mix it or anything like that and then roll the top dough over it and seal on the sides so I'm gonna seal it by hand so I can feel and get a good seal and you can cut the excess off, but I'm kind of scrunching the dough so I get more of a crust on the edges, which my husband really likes. So that is what I'm gonna do. He likes the crust. So I'm just gonna crunch it up around a little bit. All right, and... Now just make a few little holes. I'm just gonna make probably four. Like that. And now just put it in the oven for about 35 minutes. 30 to 35 minutes until the pastry is golden. Mm-hmm. It's good. 